It's pizza time. Mm, How's that is, smelling? This is your best smelling video yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey boys up guys, welcome back to another Taste Test Tuesday and today I have a lovely, lovely guest here to help me out try mm -hmm. some Cotti pizza. Let me just say the pleasure is all mine. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> here we have four different pizzas from Cotti pizza and uh, yeah, we're gonna try them and see which one's good or if none of them are. So I think Cotti pizza is a bit of a either you love it or you hate it kind of kind yeah. of thing. There's a lot of comments uh, from people telling me to try out Cotti Pizza's pizza and what was it? There's a comment recently. Yeah, someone said that you should do like a taste test with this but then some people were like, why would he do it when it's like crappy, expensive pizza? This will be the deciding factor. Yeah. For the entire Finland. <laughs> <laughs> for the entire Finnish nation. Yeah, based on four pizzas. So now I did spend my hard-earned money on this. This is no way sponsored by Cotti Pizza or anything like that. This entire buffet of pizza came to 55.50 with uh, delivery. So uh, yeah, you better watch this video. <laughs> let's stop talking, let's start trying. How Are about we... that? Yes, please. Shall we start from the top? Shall we start from the smallest one? Yeah, sure. All right. So first up, we're gonna try this one, which is called a cot zone, which is, uh, I guess, Cotti Pizza's take on a calzone, but I mean, aren't calzones normally crimped around the edges? No, so, I mean, I think that's pretty much a calzone. Okay, so basically a folded pizza by the yep. looks of things. And let's see if we open this one up. Oh, I don't, I don't think you should open it up. I think it should remain a, <laughs> it should remain a mystery. Yeah. Well, it smells like a hamburger. Mm -hmm. Is there a flavor to this? Yeah, let's see which one, which, I've forgotten which one I bought. This one is the kebab cot zone. Let's do a clean cut down there. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Attempted murder is what happened. I'm so hungry. <laughs> you get murderous when you're hungry. All right, there's a little look at the kebab cot zone. What do you think? Mm. Looks all right. Looks like a pita almost. Looks like it's... A folded pizza. Yeah. Mm. Warm lettuce kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if I, I really understand that, but I don't know. We're just gonna have to try mm. it and find out. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. That's a fun surprise. Mm. I've eaten a lot worse things in my life. Me too, yeah. Mm. Did you get any jalapeno? It's a little bit spicy, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so there's a little jalapeno in here. There's of course um, kebab meat, there's lettuce, mm. there's tomato sauce. So I'm gonna have to have another bite to get a good assessment on this, I think. I have to say it's a little flavorless. For a kebab newbie, I thought that was full of flavor. Okay. And a bit spicy too. I don't know if it's the double pizza dough effect, mm. kind of dilutes it a little bit, but it's okay. Save some room. I can see you going in again, but save some room, man. We've got more pizzas That's to get true, to. That's true, but I just don't wanna, I don't, you know, this is a scientific review. I've got to make sure. Is it maybe that it feels like a sandwich? Is it that you're not having that pizza experience? Maybe. You get like the spice from the jalapeno and that is the overpowering mm. flavor. So what do you think? Kebab cot zone pizza. Three out of five. Three out of five, okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a two out of five. Not horrible, but essentially a little bit disappointing. Alrighty, okay. what's next? A lot going on on this one. What is, that is just death on a, on a pizza. Death on a pizza, okay, yeah. So we've got, honestly, I don't know. What's this? It's probably some kind of pickled red onion, but it looks a little bit like something from the sea. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to, Look and see what this one is. Ah, grilli quesari. Chipotle mayonnaise, barbecue cassler. So, what's that? Pork? Yeah. Barbecue pork, chorizo. Yellow banana chili. Banana chili? Okay, so I, so I thought it was pep bell peppers, but it's a chili. What are the main complaints about Cotti Pizza? Do you know? Um, I think people just think that it's not like good pizza. It's more of a hangover pizza maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. Then like, ooh, I fancy a really nice pizza. Mm. I don't know. So first thing I would like to say about this one, it is very mm. topping heavy. As you can see, you can't hold the slice uh, straight. You need, this is a double hander or a folder. I like to do a little fold. But then you get a little cot zone action there. Yeah. A calzone. Ooh. Okay. It's meaty. 
It's definitely meaty. It sure is. Mmm. Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? Oh, and that pepper is quite spicy. I didn't actually get to it, but maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> mm. I can taste the pork, porkiness. Mm. Uh, there's a chipotle spicy. mayonnaise. Yeah, so I think there's like a spicy mayonnaise on there. It doesn't actually have tomato sauce. Not tomato all. sauce, mm. yeah. It's got the chipotle mayonnaise, no mm -hmm. tomato sauce. The barbecue gasla, the pork. Mm -hmm. Chorizo. Uh-huh. Like, where? Oh, it's really spicy. Yellow banana chili, then the like grilled chicken bits uh, and a red onion, like red onion compote. Uh -huh. So that is one spicy slice of pizza. You get the chipotle mayo, the, the banana chili. I never heard of that before. Ah, banana chili. That's the one you get in kebabs, you know, those that have a lot of water. In uh, it, I, yeah. think. I guess so. Mm. I really enjoyed that. Very flavorful, lots of meat. So if you're into the grilled meat, uh, this is for you, definitely. Yeah, just tasty. Very tasty. What did you think? Uh, it's not my cup of tea, no, but, but you like meaty things and I like not yeah. meaty things. It's gonna need to be a one out of five for me, dog. Okay, one out of five. I'm gonna give that a three. Hmm. Quite good. Okay. Ooh, this, it's, this is a heavy one. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Definitely much heavier compared to, to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine that in this one we have Ooh. Okay, so this is the Texas Monstery. Okay, so uh, it's normal bottom thing. So chili dip, kebab meat, ham, cotti pizza cheese, some kind of special cheese, I don't know, cotti okay. pizza cheese, uh, bacon, pepperoni sausage, and salami. So okay, another meat piece. Another meaty one, but like a, a cleaner mm, one, I yeah. think. And I got this one because I'm sure a lot of people go on the cotti pizza website see these and go, that could be interesting, but I don't know if it's gonna be any good. So you don't end up, end up ordering it. So that's why mm. I thought I'd get one of these so that we can see if it's worth the extra couple of euros to get this. Look at you doing something for the community, yeah. helping people out. Let's dissect this a little bit. So these kind of come off. It kind of looks like a, a pie that's chilling on the windowsill, you know, in like yeah. cartoons. Do yeah. you think you're meant to take these off and dip them in the... I don't no, know. No, surely not. I mean, some of them, some of them are embedded in the cheese a little bit. I thought maybe you could take, break that off and dip it in the yeah. dip. Uh, it's not sliced at all, so we'll have to do that. Let's cut it up. Okay, so see, for instance, on mine, I just have this like loose bit. Yeah. So do I then just maybe dip it? Maybe. Maybe that's the, the joy of this. You just kind of dip. Mmm. Mm. The chili dip's quite good. Yeah. Mmm. Mm, I think I might like this one. Mm. Again, quite floppy. Yes, but it's a pizza. And it's uh, a lot of topping. Here you can see on mine, like a very thin crust, and then a layer of pepperoni or something, and then the ham, and then some other salami and stuff, so. Yeah, they're definitely not skimping on the, no. on the ingredients, yeah. so shall we? Cheers. It does feel like just a mouthful of topping. There's very little crust. It's very, very thin. Yeah, it's quite heavy in that sense. Mm. So I guess with these cross, sections of dough it kind of makes up for how thin the bottom is so you, maybe you're supposed to mix it and in, that's kind mm. of why it is so thin probably yeah. because it is i mean it's quite meat heavy mm. so maybe not for a vegetarian <laughs> yeah very but um <laughs> oh yeah you're getting a little dip action in there all right this chili dip is the shit this is quite it's it's quite a um, like luxurious pizza in a way like it's so different and yeah but the question is is it worth the extra couple of euros we're gonna have to find out the price sir so the texas monstery uh pizza is 13.90 mm -hmm. uh, and well actually it's not actually that much more expensive in fact it's the exact same price as the grilli quesadilla okay interesting um, yeah. but three euros cheaper than the next pizza that we're gonna try. I guess it depends on which pizza you get, but not not much difference. Mm. In one way, it's great because it's got so much topping, but in another way, I would like a bit more substance, like base. Mm. Two and a half Oy. out of five. It's a four, and a four out of five for me. Wow, okay. Yeah. And that's really surprising because it's such a meaty. I know, and I don't, I mean, I don't eat a lot of meat in general, but here the flavor, I think it's mm. like, it feels like quite, Good quality meat. But yeah, that dip. That's the MVP. All right, what have we got going on in here? I have no idea. I'm hoping you know. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. Did you order a salad? <laughs> Does this not look exactly like the calzone, only like opened yeah. up? Yeah, mm, it does, uh, but this has like minced meat. Uh-huh. Okay. But you like the minced meat pizza. So this one is actually the burger pizza. Ah. Beef and roast minced meat, cheddar cheese sauce, Long Island burger sauce. Uh -huh. Again, this half cheese, whatever that is. <laughs> cheese and salad or lettuce. Lettuce, I mean. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a mess. Uh, <laughs> like kind of, they threw it together last minute. It was just like, yeah, just just send this thing out. I love that you actually ended up getting two pizzas with lettuce yeah. on it, even though you thought it was so weird. Well, the the website didn't translate. I have this app, this oh. Google Translate app, and it didn't translate. So I just got ones that sounded interesting. I didn't actually do an awful lot of research. <laughs> As I cut this again, very very thin. Uh, you like a, a thick base. I prefer yeah. a thicker base. Like a Domino's or a Pizza Hut. Yeah. See, I'm more of a thin, thin crust person. Yeah, again, very uh -huh. floppy. Like, I mean, if I let gravity do its thing, the whole topping would probably come off at some point. I understand this now, because you're comparing it to like a pan pizza that stays yeah. up because it's so thick. Because mm. for me, like... For, is this normal? If this is a normal pizza. This is how pizza behaves. A very sad life you've led so far. It smells like a Big Mac, that's all I'm gonna say. It does. It's almost like you've got soup on the mm. pizza pizza crust. I went through many different emotions there. It was like the, the lettuce felt a bit yucky yeah. and then I thought I was having a, a Big Mac and then I thought I was having a like spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. One more bite just to make sure that there's so many different sauces. Yeah. And like the the meat. Yeah, I don't love the mince. What do you think about the mince? The mince meat is so like like a bolognese. Like soft and it's a little runny. So the the mouth feel of this pizza is very squishy. I would never order that again. And the lettuce, like the wilted lettuce that gets like steam cooked in the box on its way to you. Yeah, I was gonna say, because obviously it hasn't been in the oven, mm. but they put it on afterwards yeah. and then it just gets so soggy. Mm. I would not recommend this one. From, no. I mean, it gets a zero for me. I would never order this again. I'd never tell anybody to, to buy it. Like, if you like burgers, you love this. No, it's just trash. Okay, I'm, I'm not as heartless as you are. I'm gonna give it a one. Okay, one why? One out of five. Because it was edible. And for something to be zero out of five, it has to be unedited. Okay, okay, fair enough. Zero point five. Like if I close my eyes, I could be having a Big Mac. So <laughs> through yeah. a straw, I could not recommend this less. I mean, we'll probably finish it through the course of the week. I mean, this is going to be in our fridge for like. <laughs> this is going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next yeah few days. That was four pizzas from Cotti Pizza. Which one was your favorite? Well, it was the, the monster. Yeah. The monster, the monster. One, definitely. Yeah. Do they do them in diff many different kinds? Yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of different toppings and stuff. So this was your favorite, which yeah. was my favorite. I can't even remember now. Yes, this one. And this was my favorite, the grilli keisari. Uh, so all kinds of different grilled meats and the sweetness of the onion. It, it almost stays up. So, you know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it guys, that is uh, just a little taste test of these four pizzas, obviously they do a lot, a lot more. So if you have a particular favourite from Cotti Pizza, let us know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do another another one of these and try mm -hmm. your favourites, that could be fun. No, this was actually really great, now, now we know, yeah. you know? And I, now you know. Yeah, and I feel like mm -hmm. you go to like these kind of restaurants and you, you order something that you know you like, that you know is safe. Uh, so yeah, this was interesting for us and hopefully for you too. Maybe you, you, you'll go and try something different mm. next time. I don't know, maybe you hate Cotti Pizza in which case, yeah. Why have you watched this yeah. far? <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to go and check out Kat's channel. The links will be in the description and the cards. And you can subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Otherwise, I think that's about it. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.